Hi everyone, welcome back. Are you yearning to build a super cool DIY home automation system without writing a single line of code? Worry no more. With the new Kadio home automation software, you can do just that with the power of AI. In this video, I will share with you how to build a simple home automation system using Kadio and ESP8266. Our system will consist of two channel relay model, one infrared receiver, one passive infrared sensor, and one DHT temperature sensor. When done, we will be able to control two lamps with an infrared remote, control the lamps with passive infrared sensor via KDU powerful automation routine, read temperature and humidity with the DHT temperature sensor, set notification for an event and finally control the lamps with our voice. Turn on lamp 1. All this without writing a single line of code. All the software will be handled by the KDO platform. We just need to install the KDO firmware on the ESP and then tell KDO some information about our unit then voila job done no coding only settings let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you will always be notified whenever i upload new video Okay, we look at the wiring diagram quickly. We have our infrared receiver. We have the DHT11 sensor, passive infrared, all connected to the mini ESP. And then we have our relay board and then the lamps. They are all connected to the mini ESP. We have 5 volt supply to it. We will now move on and then look at our breadboard. We have our infrared sensor. We connect it. We have our passive infrared sensor. We have a temperature sensor with DHT11. Okay, great. We now move on and then install the KDU app. Search for KDU app. Click on the install. Installation done. You click on open. And then you need to create an account. If this is your first time, I've already created an account, so I will sign in quickly. So I click on it, enter my email address. Okay, installation done. We need to now flash the ESP with the firmware. I connect the programming cable. And then move on the web and then download the firmware for ESP. Okay, firmware download done, and now move to the ESP Flash 2. I click on it to start the download. I move to the latest version, and then I click on download. Okay, we have all the files here. I open the Flash 2, and then double click on the application file to open it and you need to wait for some time open and now select ESP8266 because that's my board and I click OK and now browse to where my dot bin file is select it and click open I need to specify my start address which is 0x0 And then check the box okay all is green I now need to specify the port my port is 4 I select it you can confirm that under my computer and then device manager you can confirm your port where your ESP is connected okay you can see that my ESP is connected to COM4 confirmed and I click on the erase but first I need to select 40 megahertz select DIO 
and then also make sure you check this particular box and then you click on erase to start to erase the old program from the ESP okay we can see finish I can now click on the start to start downloading the firmware into the ESP we can see finish you can now close the app you then need to restart the ESP immediately start blinking which means it's okay I remove the programming port and then connect an external power supply okay I then need to tell KDU the configuration of my ESP so you need to connect to the ESP Wi-Fi first which is the KDU Wi-Fi that is created okay we can see it's connected now and now move on and open the KDU software okay then you click on the configuration to now configure okay my relay is active low so I need to select that active low and now move on I have an infrared sensor so I say yes my port is 14 so I select 14 for the infrared sensor and now specify the relays so on off for my first relay which is GPIO 5 on off for my second relay which is GPIO 4 and then sensor for the passive infrared and that is on GPIO 12 and then my DHT sensor which is on GPIO 13 okay great I can now click on save click on no and then select your Wi-Fi now so that the system can connect to the internet okay so you need to wait for some time you can see it's configuring okay it's done we can see all the icons we now need to configure the temperature sensor correctly because by default it's DHT22 I change it to 11 and I click on save wait for some time we can see it's connected we can now go back and test our unit first lamp comes on correctly I test the second lamp which is working fine and now look at the temperature readings we have 31 degrees and then humidity of 70 we can now do a group on we can do a group off working perfectly I can now see that the passive infrared is also being activated when you long press any icon it will open its configuration page for you I go under settings and I can change the device name I change this name to lamp okay so that's lamp one I do a voice and control one. turn off lamp one okay great we can see voice control works correctly and now configure the infrared receiver so you click on it and we can see on off signal we will configure the on off signal I take the remote and then click on it we can see waiting for signal I press to receive the signal we can see the code is received and now it's set up this is all what you need to do and I press on the remote and we can see the lamp coming on I press on it again it goes off it's able to toggle it up we now configure to see whether we can control with the passive infrared we can see that when I block it with my hand it's working perfectly I now assign it to lamp 1 so I click on the link the link in and then the link in I select which device I want to link to I say I want to link it to sensor 2 and I click on save and we can see it's linked easily we can now activate it and then we see how it works okay I activate it and we can see the lamp coming on and then when the sensor goes off the lamp goes off as well I activate it once again we can see the effect 
it goes off perfectly it's working perfect now let's do a voice control again okay great it works once again we do it one more time and we can see everything is working perfectly you can also configure this device for alexa or google home all you need to do is to check their app and their website and then configure everything for it and it will work perfectly you can do scheduling you can do timing great work thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye